Good day, good day, good day. Whew. This is going to be another one of those kind of good days. I'm doing this off of my phone. Um, just so I can make sure I get this out to y'all because... Make sure I get this out to y'all because I'm just cooling at this point. Um, I'm really just... You know, I'm looking over here, but I don't really exactly think that this is the mark for the camera. And I always try to figure out where the mark for the camera is on the phones. So maybe, look, maybe I'm looking at y'all. I don't even know. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, otherwise I'll just be looking at myself over here. Um, yeah. So anyway. Good day, good day, good day. hope that you you having a good one if you are not um, it can get better it can definitely become a lot better it can it can okay it, it, it really can um i'm just thinking right now in the process of speaking it's it's been been pretty decent um lately for me i've been missing a couple of days just because i'm getting myself together and i'm figuring things out and just i'm wondering what i need to do in order to reach who i need to reach and also um just elevate you know within my own craft and learning again skills that I kind of start building on but then like fell off with and then maintaining other skills and just finishing it just doing a multitude of things because I'm a Jane if you will I'm a shade of all trades you know best way I can put it so being that I am a shade of all trades uh I do, I, I'm, I'm capable of doing quite a few things, and I do quite a few things. So, yes, that's what I'm going to be talking about on today, is, is staying encouraged, being consistent, and moving forward, taking the proper risks doing more of what it is that you should be doing, cutting out some distractions, and keeping your mind healthy. Yeah, all of that, right? Because it's kind of, it's really all in one. <clears throat> it's really all in one. Some people have this thing that they've known that they wanted to do all of their lives, and they've been able to do that right some haven't and they've just been rolling with the punches so for the people like me who have more than one thing that you are good at and that you're able to do you especially being in for some people, they might not want to get into all of this, but for me, it makes sense for me, and it has been true for me, so that's the only thing I can go off of. I'm having, I've been born into this world as a Capricorn, and understanding the birth chart, and understanding the different parts of me, like prior to even getting into the <laughs> getting into knowing the birth chart situation you have to really know yourself to even identify with these things because if you don't know yourself sometimes you cannot even know that things are accurate if you don't even know <laughs> but um yeah with that birth chart situation it's just things that i pretty much knew about myself but to see the way it's broken down um and get get a different insight it, it it's it's a it's a good thing, right? Um, 
in this again for me. But being who I am, plus also coming into this world with the gifts that I've been given. And really the gift that I've been given is the gift to be able to be the shade of all trades. But with that gift, it is a little difficult at times to navigate and manage because you are able to do so many things you have to make sure you do stay grounded and especially me being an earth sign it's important for me to be grounded for sure because um you got some people who are just fly by the seat of their pants as they would say like you have some people who flourish when they move and maneuver and do um, in different ways, and they have that flow, right? Um, you have other people who thrive better, not in groups, not with others, and just off to themselves, being able to have that time to themselves and to get it done that way. So, once you know who you are, and you live in the in those bounds then you can flourish so understanding me understanding that i need for balance for me is being able to enjoy myself to be lazy to do nothing to have those moments um, but also to be able to kickstart myself that's the most important part kickstart myself back into because i can get a spark of motivation from listening to um some motivational stuff or whatever whatever but like when there is no motivation around what do you have you have you you have your desire you have what you want so being able to be a self-motivated self-starter kicking myself back into gear they really allow me to be able to like get back on the roll and I, I, me, I definitely, definitely, definitely am one of those people who need it. Um, so, so just staying in courage is, is really about one, knowing yourself, knowing your habits and knowing where you fall short and getting to a point where you really want this, right? Whatever your this is. And then remembering why, keeping that at the forefront, and making your purpose bigger than just for you um, alone. If you're someone like me, your purpose has to be something bigger than just yourself alone. I mean, it can be yourself as well. Don't get it twisted, because ultimately, it's my life, you know? No matter if these other people who I also want to share this with, no matter if they are around or not, I still want this for myself. So, yes, but having something more than just uh, materialistic, for sure, that you are chasing. Um, uh, so, yeah, once you get that ingrained in your brain cells and you really at a point where you really want this and really are wanting to try this and you make sure you're keeping your mental grounded by, for me, Making sure I'm getting my stretches in because when I'm not getting my stretches in and I'm not taking that time to really release the energy that's been held in my body and to just release that stress, that tension, then you feel bogged down like you feel just tied down to your problems, to what you're feeling, really. It's really just what you're feeling. And... Um, it is also real because you're experiencing what you're experiencing that's causing. So it's real. But what I mean is your feelings can be altered and then in return the situation can be altered as well. Right? No matter how drastic or how little the change is or how big or fast the change is, it's still a change. I mean, you start that momentum, so that's the biggest point. So when that happens and you back into your flow, your, your thing, then you, you gotta keep it, keep it rolling, you know, <laughs> you keep it rolling, 
So once you keep it rolling, then you understand that it's only up from here. And if you do fall, at least you've reached a new level. Perfect example, I was playing the escape room on um, the game, one of those games last night. And it's the same thing. Of course, once you get to a certain level, you it's possible that you can fall back through, right? Fall back through the area that you had to go through to get up here. And then some levels is locked. If you go back, you, 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 you only can move forward from there. And then after so many other levels, you're locked again at a certain level to where you can't go back, right? So it's the same thing, baby. Same thing. As you elevate through this life, you're going to have some things that you, you can turn back on. And then some levels is just locked in place. You can't go. It ain't no going back, baby. <laughs> it ain't no going back. So ultimately, it's only the unknown and, and the new that you might as well just strive for. Because you wasting your time on the other direction. And some people literally ruin their lives trying to go back to what they have left. So, I got things that I'm wanting to do that's bigger than me. And so, it's just about believing again, right? And keeping that belief no matter what's going on around you. And also just continuously being grateful for where you are because I'm breathing. I live in a beautiful space. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um... I have the ability to change the energy around me, or I have at least the ability to, I have the ability to change the energy around me, so, you know, you, you, once you see what you have, then you can be a lot more grateful, because there's a lot of things you cannot have, and sometimes you have to humble yourself in different ways like not even that you're looking at other people and like uh but like you have to humble yourself in life in general in every different aspect you sometimes have to just again ground it down understand yeah you are who you are but at the end of the day we all need assistance in one way or another and if you continuously remember how this universe works for you however you align it um, for yourself that's your, that's your thought process, that's your belief. But like, you have to remember how how um, giving and receiving works. That's the best way I can put it. <laughs> you have to learn how giving and receiving works. And once you remember that and keep your intentions pure, you allow the openness and keeping your physical and energetic body clear and clean so you you know you get rid of the old making room for the new then that's exactly what happens every so often you have to clear the way right Go in your closet. You know you need some open clothes. You, you're ready for a new style. You're ready for newness in general. Clean out your closet. You know, when I cleaned out my closet, I gave away old stuff and I really had so many clothes and shoes and just start not having so much of an attachment to certain things. The floodgates open. The floodgates open. So just get into it that happen and just really start by thinking symbolically because I used to think symbolically a lot and now I find myself sometimes but I try to keep myself in the physical world uh, sometimes too much to the point where I'm not I'm not in my bag where I need to be <laughs> uh, so again it's about balance it's about balance and so and again, for anybody who do not know, balance for me is not one thing over here is 50%, another thing over here is 50%. Um, and 
terms of one thing, you have this part of your life, you have this part of your life, right? Two different spectrums. So, example, the lazy side of you, the productive side of you. You have to balance that out. What are the lazy things you do? What are the uh, productive things you do? And balance that out to where it makes sense in your life. So, whether this is a 70% and this is a 30%, it's still a 100%. It's balanced. It's my opinion. It's my opinion, baby. Um, if you make it 50-50, that's cool. But in life, the balance is, to me, balancing on the beam. Because it's like a seesaw, right? If the weight is if, if the weight and the proportion is correct, it can be balanced. You can like this, you can be balanced like this, you can be balanced like this, right? That's what it is, baby. That's, that's just what it is. So, <laughs> um, we defy gravity anyway, you know. So, keeping the keeping the keeping yourself grounded and in keeping things at the forefront of your mind and understanding, like yeah, you you gotta stay in your zone. Um, and knowing also when to release is very important. And knowing when to kick start is also very important. Working yourself into a blimp, working yourself into a limp is not cool. And also, just only laying around every day, all day is not cool. And you're not being productive. <laughs> you're not being productive. That's not what's up either. I'm laughing because this little bird is tweeting at me. But yeah, that's not cool either. So, I know for me, I need to get back outside. You know what I'm saying? That it's like been raining and different things, but even if you're not getting outside, make sure you stay grounded inside, man. I talk a lot about stretching because, <laughs> bro, when you properly stretch, you really, that's why yoga, yoga is basically, basically stretching. That's, that's what it is and opening up the channels and releasing. And, um, <laughs> you just gotta get in it, I'm telling you. And also, if you can, if you, if you can drink lavender, like you're not allergic to lav lavender, if you can get you some lavender tea, find you a herbal shop, order online, f do your research and look at the reviews though. Uh, but you, you get you some lavender tea. And when you want to relax, you just, you just want to relax and be calm, get you drink you some lavender tea. All you got to do, get you a boiler. If you don't have a teapot, get you a boiler. You can put, I'm just going to say, a bottle of water and a tablespoon of lavender. One bottle of water, one tablespoon of lavender. Get it. If it's too strong, you can add another bottle in there, boil it. You know, or just dilute it. But baby, when I say just being able just to relax, just to get yourself in a state of calm, it's good to drink it warm. Um, even when you first wake up, unless you have something you need to be doing, like you need, don't drink it. <laughs> if, you, if you're just waking up the first couple hours of the day, you just need to relax and decompress. Drink some after work, decompress. Drink some, um, and figure out how it works for you. If it makes you sleepy right off the bat, then figure out a different different time to drink it, like right before bed, maybe. But when I say <sighs> relaxation, baby, relaxation. Um, yeah, just 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 keep your your intentions right and keep your your mind active keep your body active but active in a healthy way um you know just move your body especially for those people who like working from home or if you just work standing up really anywhere <laughs> i don't care what you do baby you need some movement right 
unless you're working in a factory or somewhere where your body is constantly being used, then you need to try to rest. You know, lay on your back if if you can. Lay on your back and make sure your back is aligned, your body is aligned. Look up videos; they tell you you can you can watch that in three minutes. They tell you how to properly lay on your back. You know, to stretch your back out and you know, lift your legs up slowly. You know what I'm saying? Like it's simple stuff that we really can do to just help us feel better and to just release that tension out of the body. And take your time. You might fall asleep doing it. <laughs> I used to fall asleep stretching all the time, honey. The best. And you wake up, you're like, ooh. But that's how you know you're putting that real work in and relaxing your body and doing what you need to do to keep this old thing clucking and running, you know. And just take care of yourself. And we need to take care of ourselves. Not just even on the outside, but of course internally as well. But one thing I can definitely say is that the more you move your body, even if you don't eat the best, the more you move your body, you can get you some walks in. What you do physically can help combat that, right? But you do want to cut some things out, you know, for sure. Um, I'm definitely an advocate of leaving the smoking and the drinking alone just because I understand what it does to the body and to the mind over time. And sometimes people don't want to be real about that one. But, like, it is what it is. No one has ever told you smoking is healthy. No matter how, what you're smoking. <laughs> Who said smoking was healthy? Everybody knows that smoking is not healthy. Anything going to your lungs is not healthy. You know? Outside of good, clean air. So, um, some people get to a point where they smoke so much that... It's your life support, literally. And that is what it is. No up, no down on that one. But, of course, everybody has free will to some degree. So you do what you do, but everything has its consequences. Everything has, you know, the cause and effect. The reaction, baby, to the action. Mm. Yeah. But keep, keep... Keep the ball rolling and keep your mind fresh, though. Like, that's one thing. Keeping your mind here, that's how you get to a point in your life to where you can be 80 years old and still sharp. You know, you have to keep your mind active and release that tension and that stress off your body because if not, baby, you're going to be old, tired out, and clucked out right not everybody want to be on this earth forever right i understand that um some of us not necessarily it's like uh i want to be here forever but it's like i dang sure would like to enjoy this right and have other people in this world who's also striving to do the same thing and living a fulfilled life one last thing i'm about to go i was talking to a lady who was at um, dollar general yesterday and uh, one of the women working at the cash register, um, and it's just a simple thing uh, that happened, and uh, we laughed, and the cashier uh, was like, uh, you know, she got got into the joke as well, and she was just like, um, thank y'all for the laugh, and because a lot of people don't come through here, you know, that happy, you know. Quite a few people come through here grumpy. And I'm like, yeah, I understand. And she's like, yeah, I just don't, you know, I just don't know why. You know, I want to be happy. I like to be happy. I like to, you know, laugh, joke. And she's like, people think I'm crazy. Because she's like, yeah, I'm happy. Like, you know, I'm, I'm living. <laughs> I'm living, you know. I say, yeah, because what, what's the point? You know, what's the point of being sad? What's, what's the, you know, like all the time. Of course, you have moments where you, you're going to go through proper emotions. But 
all the time you're angry. Every time in every space you're just dragging this energy around. Some people be like that for no reason. Some people are like that for a good reason. Um, and some people just going through a little situation. But just to be carrying that around all the time, it's not called for me. Lighten up. Get over yourself. Find something to smile about. You know? There ain't nothing to smile about. You ain't looking at life. <laughs> you looking at your, 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 that you're in and that you have access to. Get to the other stuff, you know? So, yeah. Um, but yeah, man. I was like, yeah, you, you, nobody should want to carry it around and spread that around. So, yeah. But y'all be good. Y'all be like, you know.